pull when you can. When it's loose, real fast. Go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna lean back with it. There you go. Come on, there you go. We've just departed the Barry Islands on a passage to Nassau. You're coming along for the ride. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Get it, Mom! <laughs> yeah, it's coming now. <laughs> Drink me. This thing is super hard to reel in, but it's exciting. Good. Oh, look, it's it's a barracuda, and something bit it in half when we had it. Yeah, leave it down there. Aim that right at us. It's nice and solid, okay? We caught one. Oh, oh man, it bit it in half. Let me see. I guess we could keep it for bait, but we're not gonna have. We don't even put it. But uh, you caught half a fish, sweetheart. Oh. Oh, he's still moving. He's not gonna make it. Poor thing. Yeah, here, let me have that thing. Cool to see it get eaten. That sucker, he got bit up. He bought, he must have got on there and then just really took that Yeah. How, how, how did he catch so? Another fish came up and ate half of them. What do you think of that? There's blood all over the deck now. Oh, it's all right. I wish I could keep them for bait. I know. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a a whole bunch of fish up here, bait fish getting eaten up by birds. So hopefully there's something big that we'd like to catch around those bait fish. We're gonna drive right over that. The Northeast Channel from the Berries to Nassau gets as deep as 10,000 feet in spots. We've chosen a calm day for this passage and it's stunning out here. told Jeremiah if both rods go and we catch two fish, I'm taking the shorter rod. It is hard to reel them in. It was perfect to come up on this bait ball. And hopefully we can snag a fish out of this feeding frenzy. Maybe next time. 
passages can be long and boring. This one isn't bad, about 30 miles and four hours long. How do you kill the time? A dance party at sea, of course. Keeping a kid entertained while at sea is a challenge, but we're up to it. Now it was nap time, so we kicked back and enjoyed the sights. Sometimes nap time is the best time. Days like this are few and far between. It was time to enjoy the calm blue Bahamas waters. The anchor is set. This is what it's all about right here. You're gonna go for it, huh? I have to. I don't know what happened. We just had our zincs on. Um, well, you know, whenever a boat is near you and, you know, it's getting let electricity in the water, man, uh, it tears your zincs up. Our boat's pretty good. It has a little bit of electrolysis, but whenever we get near a marina that's leaking that power or something like that, or it just rips it apart. So, uh, uh, I was at anchor last night and I took a peek under there in the shark infested anchorage and noticed that we, our zincs are like completely gone. So. I was like, well, honey, it was like feeding time for sharks, too. And this is like an anchorage where there was like a shark attack just recently. But tiger sharks. A couple. Yeah, like a girl got killed and stuff. So I was like, well, I'm not going to jump in at sunset. So I'll just... And then I read there's a guy here at the marina that knocks him out as soon as you pull in. Um, and then I got here and he's on vacation. <laughs> so I'm going to I was like, how's the water and like, how's the electricity? Well, you're good, man. Okay. So, but... Hopefully, I'll be good. Yeah, you're gonna jump in there and put them on? They're pretty. Thank you. Well, that was the plan anyway. Time for the unexpected. I was walking back to the boat from the front office and these two gentlemen showed up. I was like, what did you do wrong, Jeremiah? But we just got randomly checked for customs, correct? Uh, yeah, customs yeah. and immigration. Customs and immigration. They checked all our paperwork, checked out our weapon situation, and we are all good, so they are leaving. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Right, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good yeah. day. Yeah, they were nice. Was, uh, yeah, they were very, very nice. Yeah. Um, I think they look for, like, charters mainly. Like yeah. people that are chartering and not, like, they didn't do the paperwork for it. Yeah, they're not checking in correctly, but... Yeah. They're really nice. At first, my heart kind of dropped. Like, <laughs> what are they? You know, but we're legit and we do everything right. So I was like, yeah. okay, we're fine. I was like, oh, today's gonna be so good. It was so easy to pull up the anchor. And then, you know, it's just been yeah. like one thing after the other. Then we get here, we kind of hit the boat on the dock when we came in. But there was no damage. Yeah. And then Jeremiah has to change the zincs. And then everybody's like, oh, there's a you're gonna meet turkey and i'm like who's turkey the shark and then the other guy's like there's like four sharks in here the size like, of your dinghy i was like what kind of shark it's like bull shark i was like i'm getting out grandma is now out <laughs> we have no zincs on the boat but luckily yeah. i found somebody and they'll be here in an hour to yeah. change out the zincs and then we come back and we're getting checked by customers yeah they well they just showed up they're like hey do you mind if we come i was like that's fine and uh but the interesting thing is all the question about um like firearms they're like do you have any firearms on board yes i do and then uh and any pets? No. And then uh, they came on and said, just get your, get your firearm. So I brought the safe. He, we, we carried it up, opened up the safe. He looked at it. I had 50 rounds. Um, he's like, how many rounds do you have? 50. Boom, put it back. Okay, put it back. It was on my paperwork because I declared it. Um, and so it was no, they, they didn't even say anything. It's not an issue. So uh, we don't have anything crazy, but 
you can cruise with a firearm. Yeah, and imagine like I know a lot of people cruising that don't declare their pets. Like yeah. they don't say anything. Well, I think what you get is a fine. Yeah, they check yeah. in at anchor and they don't bring the pet in and it's all good. But if you have to pull in the dock for weather like we did, and yeah. that happens. But boats, they, they board people all the time out there from boats too. Yeah. So that so. was our first in six years. Oh, it went fine. So now I'm going to put this mess away and uh, have somebody come to the zinks that's used to swimming with bull sharks and then we'll uh, proceed to chilling. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. You're always giving me crap. The winds are blowing. Toiletries, snacks. A big reason why we stayed in the States for so long. Eight rounds of antibiotics. This is the windy application. This is David Copperfield's island. Dead low tide. I've never heard one you can get in. All right, you gotta go for a swim. And go down. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.